Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So I am in my last two weeks of my first year of medical school and they are about to be insane. This Friday I have my reproductive exam, which I do not feel prepared for at all. And then next week I have three exams, including my final exam. Needless to say, I'm pretty stressed out. I have a lot of studying to do and I spent the last two days doing a lot of studying. My classmate and I did over 200 practice questions just in the last three days. And so the plan for this week is to study as much as I can, at least 10 hours a day, which is actually very, very easy to do with my schedule. For example, this morning I woke up at 5 a.m., did Anki until 8 a.m. and then from 8 to 10, I did practice questions with my classmate. And so by 10 a.m., I already did about five hours of studying and it's only about a quarter till 11 and so I have a lot of time left in my day. And so the plan for today will be some passive boards and beyond rewatch while I do things I like put laundry away, ride my bike, because I do a lot better with passive rewatches when my body is like physically doing something so my mind can focus. And then I wanna do some reading in one of my physiology textbooks. And then later tonight, my classmate and I are gonna do another round of practice questions. I also have a social event at five, which will be a nice break from studying. And I should overall have enough time to take several breaks throughout the day. Honestly, guys, I'm tired. I'm pretty stressed out, but you know, this is med school. This is what I signed up for. So I'm just gonna do my best. All right, guys, I've done enough talking. So let's get to work. Good morning, guys. So I've got just over 700 cards to do this morning. I think what I'm looking forward to most about this semester ending is just getting these cards to dilute because I am so sick of doing like 700, 800 plus cards every single day. And now that I'm not unlocking any new cards for the next few months, it's gonna be really nice to see my daily Anki like do cards go down to like, hopefully like, 300, 200, and that way I won't be spending like three hours every single morning doing Anki. Like I really miss the days where I only had like 300 cards due every single day. And I used to think that was a lot. It's not a lot. Those were the good days. Anyways, I should probably get started. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Actually, it's more like afternoon. I've actually had a pretty productive morning. I did my Anki cards. I went through some class lectures. I rewatched like an hour of Boards and Beyond, and I just made some coffee, and I'm running late, but I have PBL right now, which I'm using as like my break from studying, even though it's not really a break because PBL kind of requires a lot of like mental capacity because you're doing a lot of thinking and talking during it. But still, it's gonna be a lot of fun and this is actually our last case of the semester. But I am running late for class, so I'm gonna hop in the Zoom call and I'll catch up with you guys after. All right guys, so we just got done with PBL. It was a really interesting case about infertility and this husband and wife who have been trying to get pregnant for about 10 months and they haven't been able to and we basically did an entire workup on infertility for both of them to try to find the cause and there was basically no cause that we could find. And so on Thursday, we're gonna continue the case and we're gonna talk about in vitro fertilization, which should be really, really interesting. But we did get out of PBL about an hour early, which is really, really nice. So I'm actually gonna head to campus really quick to pick up some extra plants from that social event that we had last night and bring them back here. And then I think at four o'clock or so, my friend and I are just gonna do like a doc talk of our review document and just try to talk through all the different pathologies, physiology, anatomy, which is something we do before our exams like on the week of our exams we try to do it at least twice um, and it's really really helpful and that's probably gonna take us like at least three hours but like I said I'm gonna head down to campus first
All right, so I just got home from campus. I picked up the extra plants, and while I was there, they gave me this free like mini backpack satchel thing, which I feel like the coolest thing about medical school is you get so much free stuff, at least my medical school. They've given us shirts, jackets, yoga mats, iPads, backpacks. Like I feel like every single time I go to campus, I always come home with like a new school of medicine thing. So yeah, it's a cute little backpack, and inside what's really cool is these little sticky notes that look like scrub tops. I don't really use sticky notes, but I might just because they're kind of adorable. And inside the backpack, they even have like a little notebook, which I don't really use notebooks too much right now, but maybe I'll start writing things down. Anyways, enough about the free stuff. I am going to hop on Discord with my classmate and spend the next few hours just going through a review document. Um, female menstrual disorders. I mean, that's then, basically what causes like... Amenorrhea. Amenorrhea, secondary amenorrhea, dysmenorrhea. But just to put it out into the air, if you're exposed to triadogen before week three, odds are is that you'll just have a spontaneous abortion. Yeah, so the high LH is causing the fecal cells to produce androgens. Um, you have more cysts. You have the hair seizures of an acne. So going through our review document is taking a lot longer than we thought. We've been at it for over three and a half hours and we took a break to make some dinner. And I have spicy ramen we got the sriracha of course and i made two hard-boiled eggs to put on top of it so going bougie on a budget tonight and now i'm about to hop back into discord to keep going through this document oh my goodness guys so it's just past 10 p.m my classmate and i just got done going through our review document which is you know the document we make through all of our practice questions and everything it took about five hours um you know with about a half hour break to make some food so a very long time i mentally drained I studied about 12 hours today i did like about seven hours this morning from 5 to 12 and then i had a gap during pbl which wasn't really a break because it was still a lot of thinking but then we did five hours of this review doc so it's been a long day and with that i'm just gonna relax for a little bit and then head to bed so i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow Hey guys, real quick, I just want to tell you about the sponsor of this week's vlog, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that allows you to explore new skills or deepen existing passions. Skillshare offers thousands of classes ranging from photo and video editing to music, animation, and productivity. They even have classes on how to study more effectively, which I keep telling myself I need to take. They have classes for beginners, pros, masters, and even those who just want to dabble a little bit. And these classes include combinations of video lessons and class projects so you can actually practice your skills. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, which means that there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, so you really can't explore as far as your creativity takes you. And it is less than $10 a month with the annual subscription. As a medical student, I know it's really important to keep up with any hobbies and creative interests outside of school, and Skillshare is really nice because it fits in with any schedule because you can just pause the class and resume it later. Those of you who follow my channel know I took a Lee Abdul's class on how to edit on Final Cut Pro, and since I recently got this new camera, I'm actually going to be taking a class on videography as well. And again, it's really nice that the classes are quick, easy to follow, and I can use them as a productive break from studying. So make sure to check out Skillshare, and the first thousand people who sign up using the link in my description will actually get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. Thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this week's vlog. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I've had a pretty okay morning. I basically just did some Anki cards, and I did some practice questions with a classmate, and now it is just past noon, and I have a lot left on my Notion to-do list today. Uh, so a lot of studying and honestly today and tomorrow is just a lot of studying a lot of what I've been doing the last two days So what I think I'm gonna do is just a time lapse of today and tomorrow since it's just a bunch of studying Like I said and that way I have more time in this vlog to talk to you guys on Friday about the exam You know post exam thoughts my actual score once it comes in on Friday afternoon And then I can tell you a little bit more about next week so wish me good luck on studying over the next two days, guys. I'm gonna need it, and we'll talk Friday morning before my exam. And yeah, let's start the time lapse.
Good morning, guys. So it's about a quarter to seven and my exam is at eight. And honestly, I'm so excited to get this over with. I feel like I had such a hard time retaining the material in this block, like the pathology, the microbes. I just wish that we had maybe like an extra weekend. I think I would have felt so much better if this exam was on Monday. But regardless, I'm excited to get this over with. So I'm gonna review a couple things right now and then get ready to go. Hey guys, so I've actually been home for a little bit. I got home and kind of just scrolled through social media for a little bit and then I took a shower and I kind of just needed like a second to kind of just like unwind before talking to the camera. Um, that was probably my worst test so far and I didn't feel good about it at all. I know some of my classmates didn't feel good about it either, but there was a lot of like microbiology on it and I've always been like, relatively weak in micro. Just whenever it comes up in questions or on exams, it's one of those topics that I just have a hard time like getting down. And there was probably at least like nine micro questions on that exam. And I for sure missed at least five of them. There was one question where I thought it was one microbe. And then I had another question later on in the exam that made me think it was the same microbe. So I went back to the first one and changed the answer because I thought that those two questions were similar, so I answered them with the same microbe. But both those questions were completely different virus than I had chosen or chosen as an answer when it came to like the treatment. And besides those two, I missed like at least another like five questions that I had to do with micro. And I don't know why, I just cannot get it down. I really don't wanna fail this exam. I really wanted to pass this exam because the way my school works is next week I have a final, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. But the final is mostly a chance to remediate a block if you failed it. So we have exams every three to four weeks and they're block exams. So we just had the reproductive exam for the reproductive block. And if you fail an exam, your way to remediate is by passing those questions from that block that are on the final. And so far I've passed all my exams, which means that the final isn't supposed to be that stressful for me since I don't technically have to remediate anything. So it's more of a chance for me to see what I retained and see what I have to like, you know, focus on going forward between now and step. But I think repro will be the exam that I fail, which means that I will have a higher level of stress going into the final because I have to really make sure that I study more repro so I can pass those questions. Which in general, it's not such a bad thing. Like again, I've passed all the other exams, so it's really the repro questions I'd have to worry about. But you know, maybe there's like a small chance that I still pass this exam, I'm not sure but this is definitely the worst I've felt about any exam I've taken so far. And what's even worse is that I know of a certain number of questions I've missed without a doubt, which means that I can't afford to miss many more. And I know I probably did because that's just how it works. And so, yeah, there's a lot of stress going on right now, but I should get my score back later this afternoon. And right now I'm actually heading back to campus because the staff and faculty are hosting this like field day barbecue out in like the lawn outside the school, which is really nice. It'll be a nice chance to like kind of see all my classmates and get to know some of my faculty members because a lot of them we haven't even seen in person. So it's really cool that they're hosting this. And so I'm guessing our scores will go in sometime this afternoon while we're there on campus. And so when I get back from campus, I'll tell you guys whatever I scored on the exam. And then I'll let you guys know what next week is gonna look like in terms of my three final exams I have to take. But like I said, I'm gonna head to campus right now. So I'll catch up with you guys later. All right guys, I'm home now and the barbecue on campus was a lot of fun. It was really awesome to see my classmates and meet a lot of the professors that we've had, a lot of the doctors that have been mentoring us that we haven't gotten to meet in person yet, but we did get our exam scores back and check this out. Boom, 87%, the class mean was an 86, the low was a 73, and the highest grade was a 97. So yeah, I passed my exam and I do wanna give huge props to my friend that I study with who actually did get a 97. I don't think he'd want me to share that, but I feel like he deserves props because a 97 is such a good grade, so I'm really, really happy for him. I might have been a little bit dramatic earlier when I said that I think I might have failed. I did think I did really bad because I did really bad on all the microbiology questions, but I guess according to this grade, I probably only missed the micro questions, which I'm really, really happy about because an 87 is just better than I thought I did. And what's awesome about getting an 87 and passing my exam is that I don't have to worry about remediating any of my blocks this semester on the final next week. I can really use the 
the final as a chance to kind of just study throughout the week. Or in general, I'm just gonna go back and review a lot of the physiology and high yield concepts because in medical school, you don't have that many opportunities to go back and review things. So I think I'm really gonna try to take advantage of that this week. And so besides my final, which is next Friday, on Monday, I have my bioethics exam. And on Tuesday, I have my foundations of clinical practice exam. And so I'm basically gonna prioritize those two exams this weekend. I don't really know how I'm gonna study for bioethics. I'm gonna possibly use Kaplan and try to go through their questions. And then I think for my foundations of clinical practice class, we do kind of have something of a study guide that he gave us yesterday. I kind of start going through it because I didn't pay very good attention yesterday. And so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I wanna get it edited and uploaded tonight. That way I can just wake up tomorrow and start studying. And so I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in another week in medical school. It was honestly a very stressful week. I studied like 10 to 12 hours every single day. And I think I did pull it together in terms of physiology, pharmacology, pathology, and I guess not so much in microbiology, but still a pass is a pass. And so the next time you guys see me, I will be done with my final exams. It'll actually be my last vlog of the school year. And so in that vlog, I'll kind of tell you guys about what my plans are for the summer. But thank you guys so much again for joining me in another week in medical school. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.